when I first visited the tropical rainforest, it was like in 1979, mm. I was walking actually from Panama to Colombia through the rainforest. And I noticed that all the activity was up, up there, up in the canopy. So to look at birds or animals, which was mostly interesting at the time, I knew I had to get up in the canopy. I had no idea of how to get there. But then like, I think it was in 82, Mitchell's book came out on access of top of the roof of the rainforest. And he described shortly some rope climbing techniques. And in uh, 85, I was one of the first who actually started doing that. And uh, it has been a wonderful experience because every tree you climb is different. It is totally amazing how even every branch is different. So everywhere you look, you see something different. And it's what, what, what I like most about it is that it was totally unpredictable. After climbing trees for about a year, you, you would think that you get a feeling of what kind of species you can encounter. But I think in climbing about 100 trees, I've never seen two branches with the same epiphytes. So it's always a surprise being up there, what you're going to encounter. Well, technically an epiphyte is a plant that grows in another plant and uh, in an unparasitic way. So people from our uh, latitudes will normally like know mistletoes, but that's a very different concept because the mistletoe is really sucking uh, water out of the, the host plant, whereas an epiphyte is just using it as a substrate. I think from a European perspective, it's difficult like to understand the importance of epiphytes because there are so few, at least, vesicle epiphytes that you can see on a daily basis. Whereas if you are in the tropics, particularly in the, in the wet tropics, in a montane forest, you immediately understand the importance because uh, trees are simply covered with thousands, literally thousands of epiphytes. So that the, the concept of a forest is a very different one. Not naked trees, but more like trees that are just uh, yeah, full of, of, uh, of plants that grow on them and use them as substrate. See, all of us, I don't know if it's because we study epiphytes or like to climb trees, but all of us have our own methodologies and ways of doing things. And there has been very little communication within the scientific community about methodological aspects. So it's really good to really know, to get to know each other better and get an idea of what they have been doing. And then to see ways how we can collect all our data sets which have been sampled with different methodologies, try to combine them and create one huge data set to look at large scale patterns, which individually we cannot uh, detect. So traditionally, people used to collect and to, to keep the databases in single groups and for one single region or one single study system. But when you merge everything, your analytical power increases uh, dramatically. So if you want to uh, get a, a hand on the big problems, then of course you need a more big picture of what is going on and that this is something that not a, a single person can't actually do. So you need to join forces and, and uh, look for the big, the big picture. And for this you need to come together, you need to standardize uh, methodologies, data access and data sharing. And if I think of my own work uh, just maybe 20 years ago and now uh, the internet has completely revolutionized the way we work. The idea of this project came about uh, some years ago by the end of my PhD. Um, by the time we get our, we put together a review where we look at the studies that have collected data on the abundance of vascular epiphytes. And we realized that of all these studies, 80% uh, have actually collected data at the tree level. The sad part of that was that none of the studies were available, so the data was just not available to the community. And what, what we recommended is that this data should be available for the advancement of epiphytic ecology. And then some years later, we had this idea that if we were going to make our data available, why not to put together all these people that have collected all this data and come up with some database for vascular epiphytes. And with that in mind now we have the workshop and that's how um, EPIC came about uh, with the idea, the objective of first do a standardized database of vascular epiphytes, hopefully worldwide, and second in the long term to um, assess the, the large scale patterns of diversity of vascular epiphytes.
uh, I'm really happy to be here. It's a really great uh, workshop because it connects uh, both young researchers and more experienced researchers and also researchers from uh, Latin America and um, in the neotropical regions and in Europe. So I think it's really important to form these collaborations. And of course, epiphytes are a really important uh, plant group to study because they form really uh, important components of forests. In some cases, especially in the neotropics, we can get upwards of 50% of the total vascular flora being epiphytic. So they're a really important group to study. And yeah, I'm really happy to be here. <laughs>